Hey, what's going on, everybody? We are back. I am your caster of mycology, and of course, I am always joined by my boy, Huey Yoshikage. Huey, we had a blowout round one, the, the game like we've never even seen before in the Agora Tournament Series. In game two, we saw the professors bring it back, get an early lead, and hold on to that lead. As we come up to game three in this best out of five series, I do believe that this will be the match that kind of decides the pace. If we don't see a game one, repeat with that flip-flop back and forth and we see a repeat like game two with an absolute blowout i think that's going to dictate the pace of the rest of this uh series so would you say that it would be more of a mental state that it would be a blowout or would it's just like a full adaptation once you get that second game locked in you should just get the third game locked in so you're seeing a three one in the future is pretty much what you're saying I guess it, it could always be like in higher level gameplay, best three out of fives or best two out of threes always give that chance for adaptation. And that's the big thing that we had with their group plays when we did best of one. Sure. Did team immune beat them and they made it out as fifth seed. Absolutely. But that was just a game one game. Like we saw it here on this series. So maybe mm -hmm. the professors do have the adaptation flow and they can make a difference in their upcoming matches. What is going to be needed? to go for these adaptations we only get one ban you also only you also get first round picks we're seeing a lot of the rampage gideon but there's so many champions to pick and ban within the within these two teams it's really hard to lock down on one person for example do you target ban for the Jabin? do you target ban for Jabin? do you target ban for neff do you try to steal that from them? Like, what what is needed to make sure that you get through this draft the best way for Team Immune? I don't think target bans are necessarily anything that's going to make a dramatic difference. These are talented guys. These are talented players. They're pretty flexible in most of the characters that they play. Like, if you banned Revenant, for example, you think Neft is just going to be like, oh, no, I have to play Drongo. Like, you know what I mean? He's. I think he's going to be absolutely fine in those types of regards, and most of these players would be. I think one of the big things that we saw in the last game was the champ select diff. I don't think the Muriel was the move, and I think it had a really big impact on how those team fights brought out. They didn't have that same level of support. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Just, they didn't have that same level of support, man. Um, I mean, I don't know. The first, that early game damage coming from the Muriel, that poke forced them back. Narbash was in on the trading the of the lanes, barback. but once we got out of the laning phase, they, they, it really wasn't so, there the way it needed to be. So what if they actually, instead of just winning the trade, they got the kill there? Do you think if the snowball started earlier with the Muriel pick, would have been easier and a better adaptation and uh, progressive into the mid game for them? I don't, and the reason for that is because Guru in the offlane on Sevrog literally hit such Sevrog. a massive point. Sevrog! Uh, he hit such a massive point on that match that any even in the previous match, we know that we lost the first, they lost the game one on the professor side, but he was such like a critical component that I don't think any level of snowball would have been enough because the Muriel wasn't able to peel for the Revenant later on in the game and he was getting sat on by the larger uh, by the larger players on the board and of course i mean that in terms of the characters there's just the big bodies brawlic ready mm -hmm. to fight ready to pick that guy out also Jaden tried very very hard to hit those same level of stuns and cc's and executes as he did in group one but again there wasn't as much cc provided from his team as it was in mm -hmm. game one so we didn't get the same results we, we got the same see, player, we didn't get the same results. We didn't see a lot of uh, Roar twice, honestly. Uh, I, I did not the, see a I lot of crazy Kalari, games coming yeah. out from I Roar twice yeah, yeah, yeah. on that either. I didn't. I think the Kalari was more of an effect than the Muriel. But, I mean, honestly, I could be wrong. We, you know, like I said, this is all just speculation. We are on the caster side. We only can see what is going on. So don't take it everything that we say with a grain of salt. Why don't salt. we just ask the chat? Chat, give us your thoughts. Like, how are <laughs> yeah, you feeling? Yeah, when in doubt, ask chat. So, right, chat, man. why don't you guys let us know? How do you guys feel? Like, what? how do you feel this series is going to go? Who are you rooting for? And even if you're not rooting for, do you think that the opposing team you're not here for has a chance to bring it back? What are some of the factors that you believe led into that? I'm just saying, Ooh. I think it was the Muriel pick. All right. Well, when we uh, we'll check back into chat, pick and bands are already on their way. One and one for Team Immune and the Professors. Gadget and Muriel will be picked up for the Professors. Sev 
going over to Team Immune with the Rampage. That's a fat wall right there already on the front lines. All right, so once again, like you said, seeing the Steel Band kind of staple in the, in the tournament series right now. He's getting banned left and right. Too flexible of a character. The Professors are picking up the Muriel. Is that BM? Is yeah. that BM? I I'm heard sensing? you, bro. Yeah, they, they heard, heard me, and they were like, oh, I'll show you what a Muriel can do. They're picking up the gadget this time, though. Interesting stuff. All right, Team Immune grabbing the Severog this time. Their first lock in Rampage every single game. Just Hell literally yeah. every single game. I think it's a great call. Um, you know, like I said, if it isn't broke, don't fix it. We do see the target ban now coming from Immune, taking the Gideon off the board for, uh, excuse me, Professor's mid lane there. Um, I think that's a definitely a good call. We've seen what they can do with him. Now let's see what Gadget can do. Revenant Bellica back on the uh, back line over for Immune yet again. Huge scaling damage coming from both sides. Once Bellica also starts to pick up her, um, excuse me, her, her Carbunction plus the Wrath Leggings, those two items locked in, serious damage plus the knock up to the Execute. Revenant with that mana item, uh, excuse me. The yeah, mana I guess Neft is just goes. really feeling Revenant mm -hmm. uh, mana like builds it. today. It's really good. It's great. Like, honestly, as far as the scaling perspective goes, yeah, it's not as uh, beat down as mm -hmm. uh, the pure crit build that you can go right away, but it's honestly so good. And I think one of the big things that I'm confused about here is I thought I would have seen a little bit more Countess. Yeah. I seen, have not seen much Countess today. Maybe Countess is a lot more solo queue with the communication and with everyone being all ready for the Countess and calling for the roams. Maybe it's not as easy to find the picks. Also, with the with the selections from the teams here, it's kind of hard to pick off a Rampage or a Sev. A lot of CC there. Yeah, like the Drongo pick coming out. Man, these are uh, the professors got a really wacky comp compared to what they've had in the previous two games. And I don't mean wacky in the draw oh. and the crunch. Oh. Oh. I can't say I'm too surprised. I said it was wacky and the guy likes to punch. So yeah. the thing is, is I'm not seeing an extreme amount of synergy between these characters. And it seems that they've based all of their teams pre in previous matches around that team fight synergy and what they could bring to the table. Going to get a Richter on deck. Richter Revenant is an incredibly scary lane. I mm -hmm. think Richter Revenant and Richter mm -hmm. Murdoch that is, those are brutal pairings. We saw how much pressure Richter brought uh, game one for them. So I think this is a, ray, a way better front line for them. Uh, I, I, the Professors is a weird comp. But team level six, it becomes a very dangerous uh, comp. Crunch with the recrunch. Grux being able to come in with the Warlords call. Muriel able to come down and help out anybody in need. Plus the gadgets, Thunderdome can really set the pace if you're trying to focus out that crunch or Grux. It's also a great disengage call too if it gets too hectic for them. Um, maybe we'll be able to see what the Professor Support will be able to do with Muriel. And maybe it'll be a slight difference. But I mean, that Revenant Richter, that's scary, dude. Yeah, we are in that mid-game series right now. These guys have been playing since... 12 o'clock today, yeah. approaching 7 p.m. our time. Whew. Seven hours of gameplay for these guys that are coming in right now. Mental fatigue has got to be setting in to a specific degree. So who's got the edge? Who drank their headshot? Yeah. You, know, you got to be ready. You got to be able to grab some food in between, and you got to keep the mental strong. It's not going to be perfect ever. You got to be able to roll with the punches and be able to perform optimally at that 100% for the next possibly – Four more games. All right. Looks like we're going to be getting into our game three series coming up here. So checking out the team picks here, where do you think we're going to fall here? Where is this game going based on paper? Based on paper, I think Team Immune has the much stronger team comp. Okay. Just based on paper. Just looking just directly like tit for tat. They have a little bit more synergy going on with uh, the amount of CC pick potential that they have. However, the professors do have, I don't want to say it's a bad team. I'm just, dude, I don't like Muriel. I'm okay, just no, going to say I it. Mean, I, agree. I don't I, like Muriel. I, listen, to each their own, on paper, it seems that everyone has an objective and a job on Team Immune, and it seems like everyone has that role filled properly. All, All right, Italy. game three, grand yes, finals coming in from Neff's point of view. Looks like they are finally on uh, 
Dusk side. Yeah, finally on okay. dusk side. Uh, I'm sorry, dude. Dusk yeah, side. I'm just dude. yeah. D dusk side. Uh, I feel superior in the duo lane with that way that hill management because. works out for you. Yes, you have red on your side. Jungle kind of has to gank early, dude. Yeah, it's like, just yeah it having just that red buff and having the jungle pressure over on this side. Uh, I could be in the minority here on things. I understand why the map is flipped, right? We all know why mm -hmm. it's flipped. It's mirrored for an absolute reason, but it either forces the uh, Dawn side jungler to start blue buff and be at a disadvantage uh, based on buff swings in the two in the one v one against the enemy jungler who would also be level two, or they have to start on the side and you have to play extremely safe, and like, that yeah. puts and that puts out brutal pressure in the dual lane, especially when you're trying to keep up with farm. Hey, wait a minute, is that? Is that, is that Bellica support? support? Wait a second. Where's the Muriel? This is a Richter offlane and a Severog mid. What? We're seeing some juice. Yo, okay. That is a great flip there. The Bellica support is a great fit with that Revenant damage too. That's scary stuff, dude, for sure. I really hope that we'll be able to get I mean, be able to check them as well. These Severogs have been used to fighting gadgets all day, am I right? I mean, that is true, bro, with all the offlane picks there. So now with the mid lane being a little shorter and the wave coming down a little more. Ooh, Richter, got a lot, a little bit of scrapping already. There, oh, and fights he... on the top side. He's going to keep charging forward onto him. Crunch, I think, winning out the trade and didn't yeah. run a pot yet. So he definitely outwins that one there at the level one. His passive is going to come back online, though. He's going to get that little shield. Looks like he's okay. going to go for that little trade right there. And that's what this Richter is going to want to do in this lane is play around his passive, at least in the early levels and try to get as much as he can, is not opting for Riplash on the level 2 either. Interesting choice. I think the Electrocute works there because Crunch has to come in forward onto you. So with the hook plus the Electrocute and the movement speed, you should be able to keep with him and keep peeling on him, even if you do miss your auto attack. Yeah. Like, like I said, though, playing around this passive right now, going for the little trades, nothing too extended, uh, is really what's going to be key for Richter uh, in over the offlane. It looks like oh, we got I some early twice. ganks coming in from Ivor twice. Going to unfortunately miss the rock. Nothing big going to happen right there. And there's that red buff difference that we saw. Looks like Rampage is going over, starting to counter jungle a little bit. Might start to see some vertical jungling on this time because it doesn't look like the professors have a ward. They do have a ward. They are responding to it. That was a nice blink there from, excuse me, from uh, I Survivor. Um, I roared twice, like you said, with that quick red buff there they're going to have to come in ch and check bot lane first so that blink will be down to about seven headed over to the mid lane a hat will be dropped over onto seven he's going to be pushed in that's to be expected as long as he keeps the trades available and fine he should be a-okay yeah gonna be getting an early back right there smart stuff nothing too crazy happening on the map yet he did try to get an early gank unfortunately didn't work out definitely saw from the professor side that they had a ward out responded to that immediately protecting that blue buff and we're going to check out some action going on in the mid lane right now just farm it up like what do you like what else do you expect from severog if he's not getting a gank the guy's going to sit there he's yeah. going to stack his he's going to he's going to stack his stacks he's going to build the shoulder pads he's going to get ready to go to ward yeah, definitely as he should. He, 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 there's no reason. Oh, looks like I get... twice coming for the gank. Soul uh -oh. Reaper a little overextended, but he does have Blink online. Gonna get siphoned right there. Oh, gets the rooted, gate. gets the subjugate. He's blocking. He's gonna have to Blink right here. Absolutely. <sighs> They're gonna go ahead and let that go. That's a great trade for Team Immune. That was looking actually really beneficial for Gadget. But then once that gate finished, Subjugate was still being uh, readily available after the root stun. So he was fine. Though the blink, that's a fair trade. Sev now going to be able to chill. Arvar coming back. The back. Yep. Looking no for it again. Available. Unfortunate. Oh, yeah, man. unfortunate. Soul Reaper is uh, getting low on mana right here. So he's going to try to want to get this some damage on this wave. So it starts pushing in. He wants to get this under tower. But I don't think he has enough mana even for a hat. Richter looking kind of healthy oh going into this lane. Tang versus Mr. Guru. Guru hitting five first. A little too close to the tower. He is in gank ring. He's going to probably move over to the Cyan buff. That's big pressure there, man. Crunch doing great against that Richter. Uh, yeah. Looking over now into the duo lane. Neff, a lot of damage set here. Clear Sticks trying to hold that wave back there. Um, this is very scary stuff. And nothing to be dropped just yet. A lot of posture checking. And really just trying to set pace in the laning phase. This is great, man. Oh, Gadget in trouble. Going oh, big right body block. Run. He mixes a little bit. He's, He's overzealous. Overzealous. With the blink back and almost gonna die there. Almost getting the kill though. 
I mean, that was fun. He didn't die. He didn't trade. Very scary stuff. Both blinks offline now in the mid lane. He should be. That was bold. Yeah. That was bold. He should at least be able to now get that wave and continue moving forward. Richter, no mana, so has to check it. Um, G uh, Mr. Goo should hit six first in this lane. If he hits six first in this lane, Richter is going to be in trouble. Definitely got to watch out for that. Once the recrunch comes online, that's when the big oh damage comes God, online. Dude. Yeah, you really got to be careful. Okay. Richter does have his ult readily and ready and steady. I think he's going to try to push back as Crunch went to the Cyan. Oh, no, Cyan buff is actually down. So I think Crunch maybe just went on the recall there. Yep, Crunch going on for the recall. Ricks are going to hit the six in the lane, moving over to the duo lane. Looks like we got just a little bit of farm going on. Not as much action as we've seen previously in the matches. There's been tons of kills happening really early, much earlier than we've seen in the tournament up to this time. Looks like he's going for that slow, going to go for the obliterate. None of the slows are going to stack. Unfortunately, going to be out of the range for those last two autos. Yeah, it, it is slightly unfortunate. But once you get later into the grand finals, a lot of that aggressiveness does slow down. Oh, uh, he did opt for the soul chalice first. That's why he now backed so early. Okay. That, such a good call uh, as a caster. Like, because Revenant really is like AD caster. Mm -hmm. So having, having, building those soul stacks early and having that mana so you can queue and secure more farm and trade a little bit more safely without blowing through your mana bar. Absolutely smart stuff. Looks like he's going to give the river buff over to the Richter. A guy really waddling out. Really good stuff here. Um, we're thinking we're just going to get a slight pause into the action. Level 6 is going to be landed. And now thinking about it, mid Sev gets extra uh, buffs over from uh, the jungles. But the hat's going to be dropped. Tang is on the rotate here. Hook is going to miss, unfortunately. Nice little weave there from the gadget. Looking like death was there. Able to dodge the subjugate as well. Really but, unfortunate, I mean, especially because they don't have a blink online. That could have been really pretty. Would have been very big for a team immune to pick that up so early. Yeah. Especially on Severog, nonetheless, in the mid lane. Look at this guy stacking, man. He still gets to he still wins the um the second prize. Um and still just being able to pick up this fat wave there is I'm gonna, gonna try to subjugate as much as possible. Wait, he's gonna have to take that little stall there. Oh, uh, so get smart. Getting thirty two right. stacks online first. Yeah, yeah but that's works. the first shoulder pad coming online. Looks like they're looking over. The yep, rotate. they are looking at the Fang Tooth. Oh! The Professor's able to sneak it. The Tesla Dome coming out, blocking them away from everything. Do they have the juice to clean this up afterwards? No, they're getting picked off a little bit, getting beamed down. All right, getting a little bit of poke action. Back it up, Peel. Oh, He's going to get pulled in, unfortunately. Cool. Yep, he is going to die for it, though. Good stuff by or Ivor twice. Clear cast, kind of zoning a little bit. Looks like they're going to lose the Fang Tooth, take the one-up trade, and that should be all unless Iroar twice does ultimate, does jump in. Does he have a rock online? He oh, does. Oh, no. They slinging. Knockup came in as well. Plus the subjugate. This might be more than just one there. That's a fat minion wave, though, so they might have to That was back so on that. close. Yeah. Very close. Very unfortunate. But they did play it well. <laughs> they didn't lose any because that trade started a little bad for them. They were all standing in the gadget AoEs, got beamed mm -hmm. down a little bit. But they did pick up a kill. Team Immune got to be a little bit more on top of these Fang Tooths. They might not be as important as they were a patch ago, but they are still important. It is a team objective. For sure. And right there, um, with the first one, that being secured around about 730, that will be about a 12-minute mark for the second Fang a possible 17 minute third fang as we head over to the top side gobro putting on the damages with the body block there able to get the level advantage over on it and that's going to be scary once guru starts rotating over into these team fights that's a big crunch coming around yeah you know a lot of people uh when i say a lot of people i mean specifically youtubers and streamers when they do mm -hmm. tier lists they've been putting crunch pretty low out there lately but i'm not sure how i feel about that well, Every time I, mean, I, I see a good the... crunch online, it's terrifying. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. Definitely very, very scary stuff. Um, once crunch is online, that level 6 access, uh, giving him access to knock up the percentage health, um, plus just making his trades that much Double danger. dash if he wants to. Oh, like, gosh, yeah. Dude, it's scary, Huge gap dude. close potential. Mm -hmm. As we get closer to the 10-minute mark, one minute over for the jungle buffs. TB respawn over for the mid lane here. Sev in the lead. And honestly, this is a very, very tight game three. Yeah, very tight. A little bit more calculated in the plays that we're seeing. Not as much overextending, not as much brawlic action happening. He looks like he is getting ganked. Unfortunately, he does Ooh. not get his reap dash out of there. Gets pulled right into it, but he's a bulky boy. He's going to walk on out of there. He's going to be <laughs> all right. 
But wow, what a beautiful pull. Uh, no blink available too. One thing I would love to know the opinions of the community. How do you guys feel about the gadget uh, image rework? I personally love it. I think oh, yeah. I, I love that they that they changed the base skin for gadget. I think it looks sick. Well, wait, does she still have the same voiceover? She still has everything. The only that's thing that's uh, changed is her base skin. It is. Yeah, the uh, base skin is sick. The helmet is yeah. cool. Yeah, I uh -oh. love it. Oh, big stuff. As we stuff. get to this duo. Oh, Drongo kill. Yeah, very, the yeah. Nice. The, the red round stacking and popping. Unfortunately, does also, happen. Also, the damage from uh, Belica there plus the knock up, um, able to just allow Drongo get into that nice position for the execute with the knockback to get back into safety. You can't ask for much more from there. Yeah, uh -oh. the Muriel pick looking uh -oh. a little bit stronger than I thought. All right, getting jumped onto the Richter right here. Team Immune possibly. Oh, Ooh. does land the pulse, but does he have the... Not going to waste the oh, ultimate whoops. right there. Smart play. Smart play. Nah. Oh, man, I really saw the ultimate being ripped right there for the Richter. At best, he would have gotten like another that. two tower shots, and he probably wouldn't have had then, the damage to close it out. Yeah, and then he could have just dashed out of it. So, no, that was a really great call. He is going to lose his second Cyan buff there. That might actually be the third one. Yeah, unfortunate. The Cyan buffs do stack. It's like, in a way, it feels like a bigger bonus than the gold buff. Because I believe the gold oh, buff only yeah. gives 74 gold in the beginning. But the XP Ooh. bonus on stacking. Okay, flip. am I wrong? Wow, what nice a close revive. fight. Nice Yes. With Crazy Fool rotating there as well. Ulting from the other on. side of the map. Oh, my gosh. That Q over from Muriel. Putting all Passive those came online right, right there at the exact oh. moment it needed to. Probably wouldn't have killed, but absolutely still a clencher nonetheless. The power of Crazy Fool showing in, baby. Really beautiful work there. And this game is still extremely, extremely tight. Fangtooth right around the corner. That's going to be second Fangtooth. Oh, Richter going to recall back and get his second item locked in. I do like the uh, tank build that he is going into right now. As we check fun fa fun fact that uh, I, I just happened to notice was that the Crunch has the next crest. So he has so he's going for an assassin crest. Uh, once we get another tab over so we can see the build, possibly going for a full glass cannon build. And that might be mm. why that man's hurting so bad right yeah. now. That actually makes a lot of sense to break that front line. Um, oh, to make and sure pinched right here. Uh -oh, so no. probably going to be coming Still up in two seconds. Walk. Not going to be able to get it. Wow. Great stuff by Gadget. Just kind of weeble wobbling, not really getting picked in any of these situations. She's been in like now three situations that we thought she might die. And nope. Just doesn't have a mobility except through gate. And just that's really just character she does, movement. She does have self-peel in a way, though. You know, she yeah, does have her ray for the slow. She has yeah. the gate for her own boost and the root. But that's really all just I wrote twice steel. coming in, looking for the rock. Misses the rock. Very unfortunate. Oh. It looks like they're looking for a slow. They're going to have to target the Muriel. Muriel. Survivor is just going to walk on out of there. They're walking away. I hope Ivor is going to back on out of there. Getting a little bit too oh, much damage. Edoc. Yeah. Edoc going in. Missing the uppercut. Nothing too detrimental yet. Fangtooth is coming online. That's why we're starting to see brawls He's coming out over in the duo lane. Well. Let's see. Fight going on. They can't keep giving these up. We've seen him in game one. We've seen him in game two. Seeing a little bit of big damage coming oh, out for the Revenant. Oh, good shield from the Muriel. Mitigating most of that obliterate damage. Rampage. Rampage is big. Moving in. Body blocking. Trying to pinch out Survivor. Everybody body blocking each other right Ooh. now. Trying to get through. Make Subjugate gonna miss oh. the double Bellica stun. Maybe some really good stuff. Be a a beautiful Ooh. blink right there. Not no gonna have way. the juice. Not gonna be able to close that out once again. Getting away with a little sliver of life. But they are probably gonna be able to pick up Fangtooth because of that. That was a really good, patient play coming over on the side of Team Immune. It was looking really nice for the professors there. But playing it nice and slow, finding the picks, and putting on the damage in the proper. But the Tesla all coming in, and that's going to be the steal. And that oh. might be it. They didn't find a full pick. They were able to retreat and go back. Soul Reaper is actually going to pick up Neff. Rampage on the run. He blinks and jump and gets one. That's two right there. Semrob already using his dash as well. He's going to have to blink back away. And oh my gosh. Look at that how? replay, man. Unfortunate. What? How, well, they had Rampage with them. Not sure how he missed the hunt. Might have just panicked a little bit. Maybe he... They, it happened so quick. I would love to see that again. But we do have a game going on. We'll check that out in the post credits. Very unfortunate for Team Immune. Looked so good, but it was just swept away from them at the absolute last second.
Oh my gosh, big damage. Next Crunch doing big things mm. in the off lane. Mm. What is this guy doing? Next Mini Crunch, Prime man. up as well, too. Oh no, this is that snowball that starts making the pace. The professors, this is looking more like game one yet again. But now it doesn't look like there's a lot of outs to for immune to bring it back like they did uh in that transition from the middle to the late game right now a lot of kills fell in the proper positions rev was up a lot more neff right now oh two um game one he was about three one a lot more prepared um with the level deficit too this is looking like a way better professors i think with as as different and as weird as we said their team comp was where it's actually working out pretty well in their favor. Yeah. Honestly, the professors just, their macro point has been, their macro point, their macro play has been so on point lately that it is absolutely inspirational. They seem to turn everything on a dime, kind of like Immune did on game one. Things have been changing and evolving so rapidly here in this game three of this grand final series. I need to see the same level of immunity that I saw on game one, and pun intended. Oh, yeah, no, definitely for sure. Add oh, big things in the dual lane right now. They're just going to take that for free. Yeah. This is a huge hit. Oh, Enoch with the blink. blink. Warnock's call is going to force the blink back out. Rockets are going to land. Roar twice is there for the pinch. Clear cast is going to come as well, but he's going to have to retreat back, dude. These are not fights they're looking for. Tower is not there, and they are behind, dude. Big fight going over onto the offlane as well. Uh, excuse me, Goru going in with the crunch, recrunch with the knockup. Here comes the hook all at the bottom of tier two, but now it doesn't really matter. Ally team tower, outer tower is going to be dropped there as well. Guru is going to take a lot of hits. Still has his revive available as well, so he's going to go back for knockup, recrunch going in left, right. My man is crunch and he likes the punch and he is waiting for cooldowns and he's going to go back into it. As we head back down over to the duo lane there, very scary stuff, and the snowball is just increasing. So, tier 2 towers are now going to be knocked there. Fang right around the corner yet again. This is going to be around the 1830 mark, third Fang. And we know what third Fang does if the professors get it. So what does Immune need to do to make sure that doesn't happen? Neft is unfortunately 0-2, not exactly the same level of power spike that we've seen at 18 minutes into the game in previous matches. They really need to slow their roll right now, get a little bit more ward action online, and we got to see better rotations for these team objectives. That's just really where the difference has been over these last two games. The professors just have the macro difference. I know I sound like a broken record, but that's what it is, and that's it what makes, needs to be. It, that's makes like, a, it makes a huge difference, man. That... It, you don't win this game by kills. It's not Call of Duty. Those extra objectives bring in gold to the entire team. But the experience when the people go and actually security objective helps. And then you're rotating together as a unit. So once you re-rotate off that objective, you guys are usually ready and primed to get more. And the more you get... The oh, beautiful weight. Up oh, what in. a beautiful, beautiful weight. Beautiful gate. <laughs> Just oh my like... God. That's Big it. damage there, man. Sev yeah. not as tanky as he normally would be playing in that off lane role, I would assume with the uh, mid lane being a little smaller, he would get more waves here. Uh oh, taking that to the top side there. Big ult coming from Richter. He's the in a bad situation. Away, but oh, the knockup is gonna stop away that dash, and he's just gonna get jumped for his lunch money there. And that is gonna be another one in the book for that said, crunch and E dot. Let me clap that. Yeah, just big claps there, dude. Unfortunate there. And yeah. this is slowly falling away from it but here comes sam able to maybe pick up edoc there and gets one in the pocket there and that's not bad not being behind that's gonna be 101 over for the jabin really respecting that crunch right now didn't even wait just got out of there nah, still getting yeah, chased nah. uh oh Google let's see this next ahead. crunch he yeah damage what... here razorback is gonna be proc there so he can kind of retreat back just Google walking at him way. not swinging into the razorback he didn't even attack them he respected it so well um excuse me Q's going to land there and force the stun CC and give him his escape there. The Fangtooth is online and it is lost is. again. That's the third, third one, one again. 
Professor's macro game is just on point. Objectives is what's making these games. And honestly, I would love to see their point of view of wards because Immune doesn't have that many up right now. Three out of five are up right now with, uh, excuse me, Bellica's upgraded on her Guardian. She should even have more. So that should be at least six wards up and I'm just not seeing it. Yeah, Very 20... dark map. Yeah, 20 minutes into the game, three Fang Tooths online. The map is starting to open up now. We have all tier ones so offline on Team Immune side. Yeah, it looks like, yep, he's trying to get a little bit of a peekaboo right Thank there. God. See what's going on at the Prime that buff. That was really nice. That was a safe way to check that. Yeah, very smart stuff. He's going to have to back up right here, though. He's not in a position that he could really fight the crunch anymore. Mm -hmm. Rampage is, is. Yeah, Rampage is behind him, though. Looks like they're going to be going for it. Recrunch is online though. He oh, Rampage not oh following behind gosh, him. This dude. might be an interesting choice right here mm. and going mm. down. Mm. Oh, the stall. I don't think it's gonna be enough though. Well, there goes the proc yet again, dude. Silence gonna lock in. Rampage finally coming in to join the fight. Raising the Muriel ult coming again. in, gonna be hitting Whoa! him down with the knock up. Big turnaround, unfortunate. Yo! That's so unfortunate there. Iron Trice is gonna have to blink dash himself away, and that's gonna be the one for zero win. And that might be to rotate over to Prime just to kind of force them to come and check it and maybe even get a pick under their belt. Yeah, looking a little bit rough for Ooh, Team Immune. Not seeing the same there. level of cohesion. That's a huge Tesla dome. Nice yeah, great stun by Jaden coming out right there. You gotta say, yeah. big stacks over on the Severog here. Yeah, 127. Already. Yeah, 20 yeah. minutes, 127. That's a this man is smoothing. He's got the big shoulder pads. They are on Orb Prime right now. They really need to get in there. This uh -oh, could be a really uh -oh, big pick uh -oh. on Soul Reaper. He's alley opening nice. him into the team. Ooh, gonna blink the right out of there. And oh, over there! Oh, what a great blink! Wow! No way! And they, and they secure it. the they prime. Might pull it back. They're, They're a little spin too late. Oh my god! The pull back there as well. That was looking so good over for immune. But that's gonna be the three for the two for zero plus the prime the snowball is just rolling down this mountain and team immune cannot find a way to slow this down my gosh dude absolutely crazy stuff right there that could be the swing that chooses the game huey it is huge I've dude I mean, it's not it, even a swing. They've been in the lead pretty much uh, the entire second half of this game, really displaying just absolute dominance here. But between picking that team fight, picking the primes, they're always ready. They're always choosing their fights right next to the objective and then immediately swinging. That's yeah. been such a, one of the big swings that we've seen the entire time. Richter looking for the pull, not going to get it. Would have been really big to land on a survivor right now. Looks like they're just prime stacking. Going to land the stun. Does he have the subjugate? Does have the subjugate? Ooh, nice really hit. big oh, that's a really big oh. pick on survivor this is going to be huge he's got the speed does he have the juice can he find the hook no unfortunately going to peel out of there take your win especially where we're at in the game take your win smart paul beautiful subby gate into the into the rock chain there into the knockback and on Neff too as well oh and getting the kill onto Neff as well that was a great pick on the drongo you can't wait especially just so far behind right now it's such a deficit three eight with three fangs down you can't ask for much more that you're gonna get a, a fresh breath uh get a slight reprieve there and maybe try to pick up and try and figure out where you guys went wrong and start to try and stop this bleeding right now this is this is rough I honestly still feel Javen is in a great position to bring this back and really hopefully stop this becoming game um two for them. Looks like he's finally going to get this duo lane tower offline. I think we are hitting a point where we need to start seeing a Severog split push. Mm. Oh, okay. but I could be wrong. Uh -oh. and the crunch is coming out. And this crunch is strong with this next build, man. Color me Three impressed. Three levels ahead. Yeah, three levels of press. He's got two people on him right now. Raising the guy doesn't even care. Survivor's coming in. He misses the ultimate, doesn't get the knockback. They are going to be able to peel out of that fight, fortunately for them, because that was not looking bright. They do have prime buffs online. Man, all of that for a gold buff. Hey, my man, Guru, though, he is throwing hands, bro. This isn't even a MOBA for him. It's an FGC now, bro. He's just throwing hands on him, bro, left and right. Beautiful knock, uh, knock. Hey, am I watching well. a MOBA or a fighter? Yo, like... you're watching a fighter when when Guru gets onto there, man. You're just hitting him with the combos, dude. It's disgusting. 
He has like a five level, uh, five level gap right now over onto the support. It's that, huge, it's dude. that solo uh -oh. lane experience, uh -oh. and he's been there the whole time. This is bad yeah. stuff coming out. Lots, of, dude. Look at this crutch, Mr. Groot. He's just going forward. Down. Doesn't even care. They have to peel out of here. They cannot take this fight right here now. It's a pinch. absolutely. Here comes it's a, a bad call. This is it. Mirio knock up as well. Crunch just going in. They have to retreat back, and he just continues moving forward. My name's Crunch, and my boy, he likes the punch. That's going to be another one down. Survivor finding a second one. That's going to be Survivor's third. Guru continuing on the onslaught. Sephiroth so strong, yet hiding behind the wall. Grim Reaper getting hunted down by Survivor, and that's going to be the team ace. Yeah. That, I believe that is the first ace of the game, Huey. That is unfortunate. While that was happening, that looked really bad. I would have probably just tried to get out of there, but it seemed like some poor communication. Rampage pressed R and jumped in anyway and continued the fight. Might have just been a better option for him to block the hallway and let the team back on out of there, but it looks like the team saw that he was blocking the hallway and went back in for the fight anyway. Really unfortunate stuff right there. Mr. Guru, MVP for Mr. Uh, for the professors I right guess, now. Dude. The co the two zero five might not look like a lot, but this next build is honestly it's next level. It, man. It's it's There's it is next level. There's anti heal built for the crunch and the grux, and it just doesn't seem to matter. I mean, Mira also with the shield. Neft is um, struggling with itemization yeah. right now. We're, <laughs> we're coming up on twenty seven minutes into the game. Still doesn't have that third item built, unfortunately, and he really need he has the Imperator and the Resolution. Solution. That third item demolisher is when Revenant really starts to come online. Oh yeah. So maybe they can hold it out into if they can hold it out into a very late scaling game, they do have a chance to bring it back, especially if they can bring up a primal. But primal already picked up. My yeah, brother. it's already been picked up by the professors. Yeah. So like so, I like we need to scale to like forty minutes. Like, I don't even know if that's possible, man. You know what? Yeah, they can't. They can't. I'm really hopeful. I am a glass half full kind of guy. Okay. I mean, uh, let's see. Let's try to see for it as of right now. I mean, the push is coming in right now. That's scary, dude. Guru Revenant only level, level 13 right now. Yeah, poor Neff. And you that see that level 17 huge. assassin crunch you, just you like go. Like go. Things, Look at the time. Like, like, things that have threatening aura. Next crunch. <laughs> just like. <laughs> <laughs> the menacing just floating around him. Oh, oh beautiful pull Hulk? coming out by the Richter. Not gonna, uh, he's not gonna ultimate right there. Might have needed to because they're definitely Ooh, gonna lose his tower up. right now. Yeah, big pull. Absolute chaos oh going on. God. The, you, the pacifier pulling him out of the Tesla dome. Looks like he's looking for the pick, but most of the team is down. He's trying to blink out of there. He's trying to isolate. He gets Let's the go. kill. Definitely not gonna be enough. Gonna have to back out of here. Again. He's got a hat trick on, and that's gonna be it. And that's probably gonna wrap up game three here in our grand finals. Oh, Unfortunately, for Team Immune. The professors are taking you to school. Yes, sir. By the book, by the numbers, baby. Win by objectives. Come in the late game. Once you guys are built and ready to go, do it up. Do what you need to do. Six, oh, and eight. Gadget out there. Crazy fool acting up in the mid lane right now. What? Insane. Absolute insanity right now. All right, that's going to be our game three match right now. Professors oh, are up 2-1. Yes. We saw tons of impressive plays. We saw good stuff. The big differential we are seeing, it's the macro. It's the oh, team play. Yeah. Team Immune definitely had it on lock game one. We need that energy again going into oh, game yeah. four. This is possibly tournament match for them. <laughs> we need, yeah, I know the sweat is just like, uh, <laughs> like can you see it? Can you see it? So, my gosh. That has been oh. absolutely Stellar performance by the professors. Going great. 2-1 in our series right now. We could see a game five. I'd love to see a game five. We haven't seen one a single time in early access. Again, I really got to thank the production team. Everything you guys are seeing, the the brackets, the transitions. I like, dude, I would be doing a laundry list. They have been putting in so much work. So just big shout outs to our production team and all the love and effort that they have put in. Please drop a heart in the chat for those right. guys. They work so yeah, hard to bring you guys this experience. I mean, I appreciate everyone coming in and keeping this lot. A lot of work getting over here, man. And honestly, we can't ask for for any anything else, man. Thank you all. Like, really appreciate it. Game three on, on the way through. Beautiful work over 
uh, excuse me, for the professors, 2-1 right now, one game away for for the champions. And honestly, this is scary, dude. It's going to matter. Draft is going to matter so much right now, honestly. And yep. I really the, the champ select is, pick is going to be real. Unfortunately, we are going we're going to have to cut over to a quick commercial break for you guys, real quick. Oh, we will be check. Man. I know we will be we will be checking you guys out for the game four in this series, and we will be back momentarily. Don't touch that dial tone.